Pisces, it's me Stormy. Welcome to your June 2018 horoscope. And Pisces, what an interesting month for you. Here's my deal. We do have this Mars retrograde, very big deal. It's going to be happening in your 12th house, which is going to send you, I think, a lot more inside, which is interesting because you can be a very inside kind of sign anyways, but it sends you inside on an actual mission right? Like you've got to go back in and see what's not working in your spiritual strategy that's helping you navigate the world outside. Because sometimes for a Pisces energy, the world can feel and seem like a lot, right? So in this, it's kind of like if you're not able to keep your mood, your attitude, your enthusiasm, and your health on par, I think this is the time with Mars retrograde where you're able to go back and look at what's the strategy? Why are you putting energy into something? Where are you not taking action on something, right? What are you doing that you're doing a great job at? This Mars retrograde in that 12th house for you, I think is absolutely priceless. I think it's priceless for everybody. But in your 12th house, you're a 12th house natural energy but it doesn't mean you always know what's up in those cupboards right we all got to stop look around and clean out sometime now the other interesting thing for you this month is that neptune your ruling planet is going to be going retrograde in your sign now when neptune goes retrograde we become really in contact with some truth right there's not a lot creating this fantasy or this illusion right so there's you can also be very receptive to things that are going on right so pisces as things come up about you or where you are currently um, all the way until november these are things you're gonna want to take a look at you're going to want to take a look at them right whatever comes up for us in a neptune retrograde which is usually very subtle it's very subtle it's very quiet sometimes what it feels like is we're somehow out of sync whatever comes up it's asking you to address it, so make sure that you do it. And even if it comes up that it's like, you're such a joyful person, address that, own that, and work with that, okay? Let's jump in and talk about the rest of the month. I was like working from the bottom up, okay? Right at the beginning of the month, we've got Mercury coming over to join Venus over here in Cancer. So this is a wonderful energy. This is fifth house for you. This is fun. Maybe you have romance in your life right now. Maybe you're going to meet someone. Wonderful conversation with Mercury there. Venus loves love, so she's very cool with being right there in the fifth house. Whatever it is, if you're interacting with somebody new or you're wanting to start or initiate something, if this is with your children, Mercury is business savvy, communication savvy, detail savvy as well. So you've got a nice energy to be helping you out with anything you're trying to get done or negotiate, which is beautiful because on the 13th, we've got the new moon moon happening in Gemini. And for you, this is the fourth house, which I just have this entire sense for you this month. Um, Pisces, that's very, I want to be at home. I want to be kind of hunkered in. I want to be in a safe space. I want to nestle in with people who love and support me. It's almost as if Pisces, I feel like you are really going through a time of healing in June. And what you need to do is be alone with you, that divine energy and those that can help you navigate. So this new moon, feels the same for me like you may be transitioning right the new moon says we're going to plant seeds of intention there is a beginning happening here so for some of you pisces you could be transitioning are you getting a new home are you wanting to work on projects at home have you lost a parent and that has changed your foundation right do you feel like you're having to regain and regroup your own foundation your own place in the world your own identity right all of these things are huge and make us great for the end of the month where we're getting some quiet time but whatever it is this is really a time where I think you're making a renewed commitment to your home life. Are you moving in with someone, right? Any of those things come to the surface for me. On the same day, Venus moves into Leo. Love this. Venus in Leo is very brave. She wants to bring diplomacy. She wants to bring beauty and usually some money as well. So it gives me the indicator that your work life may be changing as well. You may actually just be happy there. You're enjoying it. You're like, all right, this is okay. I'm grateful to be here because really when Venus Venus flies by and is like, oh, a little Venus here, a little Venus here. We actually find some enjoyment in those things. Now, you could also be working on a project with somebody at work and in that 
teamwork kind of place, you're actually having a good time and this person could end up being significant to you. So enjoy that experience, okay? On the 18th, Neptune takes that retrograde right there in your sign all the way until November 24th. Now on the 21st, we have got the sun. And remember, the sun says, I wanna shine here. I wanna be here, I wanna be bright here, I wanna be known here. The sun is moving into Cancer, which means we are at summer solstice, okay? Which is beautiful because in Western astrology, we follow the seasons, not the constellations. So this is a brand new season for us. And for you, it's in the fifth house. Pisces, this is a new season for love. This is a new season for romance. This is a new season for new beginnings where you speak up, you express yourself, you speak out what's bringing you joy, right? Even if it's not perfect, what's bringing you joy? Have the courage to go out there and go after it, right? You want to make some investments. You want to play a sport. You want to see some sports, leisure, pleasure. Where are you going to allow yourself a new beginning here? Because the sun is definitely bringing you a blessing, right? You could be coming out. You could be like, oh, by the way, I'm dating Bob right like people will be like oh for real you know so it could just be a really good time also at the same time we've got Venus and Mars in opposition they're in their annual opposition from each other Venus for you is over here in the sixth house we've got Mars over here in the twelfth house so somewhere between work and play you're gonna get to see things a little bit differently like I really feel like Pisces I want to say that somewhere in your work life or in your health life what you're saying is no matter what's been going on today I'm grateful. That's what this perspective switch feels like for me. Today I'm grateful. You got to be thankful for whatever's going on. Even if it doesn't feel good, there's something trying to come of it. So I feel like the word gratitude comes up for you here. On the 26th, Mars takes that retrograde over there in Aquarius. So here in the 12th house for you, I really think that you are going to notice that you are just even energetically because Mars is about that action, about that energy, about the fire. Maybe some of your fire is is slow down a little bit and energetically what you want to do is get through some of the things of the past get through some of the things at the the root of your life redo some things in your house um, maybe you're wanting a lot of privacy at this time whatever it is use this retrograde well please don't waste it you can find out ways to bring your energy bring your life your vitality to another place if you re-strategize and use this retrograde well and you come out on the other side going oh okay Here's how I can get this done. At the end of the month on the 29th, Mercury, 29th, Mercury is going to move over into Leo, joining Venus again. So we've got these two together, and they are a strong partnership. They work really well together. So in your work life, I'm telling you, working on projects, some kind of collaboration, feeling joy at work, making decisions about your work life, if you have been wanting to um, get a job, this might be a great time where Mercury's like, oh, we need to adjust that resume or, hey, let's do this to get noticed. And Venus is like, okay, I'll make it pretty. You know what I mean? <laughs> she could also be bringing a little bit of money your way. This is a very nice money combination as well. So you could definitely see a little bit of something trickling in from the workspace for you as well. And I want to say this too before I end this video. With Mercury and Venus here, it's a healing salve to your mental health. If you've been holding on to something in your head and, and if there is, and I hate to be a part of the stereotype, but if there's anything coming up with either you or someone in your world, alcoholism, addiction, obsession, these kinds of things, this is a healing salve to the mental condition behind those things. So, you know, I think it's a beautiful month for you, a lot of internal reflection going on, but in a different way, in a way that says Pisces, how are we moving internally so that when this changes gears, we are effective moving outwardly. It's really a beautiful time of healing for you. So please keep me posted. I'm sending you so much love. You have my heart this month, Pisces, for sure. You guys came up for me and I was like, all right, I feel it. We're wrapped in some healing. We're wrapped in some of that beautiful rose quartz pink kind of healing energy right now. So I love you guys. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in July, okay? Bye.